Hey, this is Susan Palmer of Lead Cat Press. Welcome to the Jam Session. If you'd like to have more fun playing guitar, ask your teacher about the Guitar Lesson Companion Method Book Series. Order your copies today at leadcatpress.com.
is Susan Palmer. A few years ago I wrote a book called The Guitar Lesson Companion Volume 1. It's currently being used by teachers and students all over the world, including by faculty at Berklee College of Music. I've really enjoyed hearing from the students who've worked through the book, who are now playing and performing jazz, blues, rock, and folk music. I've also really enjoyed hearing from the teachers who credit this book for helping their students learn how to read standard music notation, play their chords, solo, understand basic theory, and also the design of the guitar. I'm absolutely thrilled to let you know that I've just completed volume two of the Guitar Lesson Companion series, and I can't wait to get your book out to you. So order your book right now, and I'll ship one to you as soon as it comes in off the printing press. I'll even offer free shipping for a limited time to orders placed in the United States. Let me tell you why I'm so excited about this book and show you some of the insides. The Guitar Lesson Companion, Volume 2, is a music theory workbook, an improvisation guide, and a stylistic chord resource designed to help you master the guitar. The book is 160 pages, spiral bound, and it comes with a jam CD with over eight hours of backing tracks. The book is divided into three parts to make lesson planning easier for teachers. Part one is a music theory workbook. It starts at the beginning with the chromatic scale and walks students step by step through all the concepts that are important for serious music students to understand, especially college music students. Scales and modes, major, natural minor, melodic minor, harmonic minor, diminished, dominant diminished, and whole tone. Harmony, triads, seventh chords, extended and altered chords. Intervals, the circle of fourths, chord progressions, and tritone substitution. There are also extensive interval and triad worksheets, which will be especially helpful for students who want to analyze music. Songwriters will enjoy the harmonization and borrowed chord worksheets. Now for music theory to really sink in, it's important for students to work this stuff out in all 12 keys. So whenever there's a new concept that's presented in the Guitar Lesson Companion, there's an opportunity for students to work it out in all 12 keys. There's also a section on applying music theory to actual music, and that's something that's been missing in a lot of theory books. I'm probably most excited about the improvisation section. I've been using these exercises for a few years with my college students, and I've heard their solos go from that predictable boxy sound to more melodic and interesting music. Most professional guitar players understand the value of chord tones or arpeggios when they're playing, and this book takes students step by step through all 12 keys for every major seven, minor seven, and dominant seven chord. Let me walk you through it. Each key begins with a short review of theory. We have a C Ionian scale, a D Dorian, and a G Mixolydian scale. Students are encouraged to write those out, circle the chord tones, and memorize them. Then they can place those chord tones down here on the diagrams for each key, for each chord. There's a CD jam track that corresponds to each chord, so students get about four minutes of jam time on each one of those. Now they're trying to memorize the names of the notes, the location of those notes on the fretboard, and also how each note sounds over each chord type. When teachers think it's necessary for students to move up the fretboard, there are lots of diagrams for students to do that, writing in all those notes so they can study them even when they're away from their guitars. Then I took each two chord combination, I created a jam track for them, and provided an opportunity for students to work those through first in groups of two bars and then finally with one bar each. Now this is a tedious process for students to go through, so to make it more interesting, I included a major blues in all 12 keys, a minor blues in all 12 keys, and a jazz blues in all 12 keys that students can work on as their skills develop through all of those keys. Oh, and to make things as easy as possible for teachers and students, the CD that comes with the book. It's got over eight hours of jam tracks corresponding to every single exercise in the improvisation section. Part three gives students some fun stuff to work through, like big band chord shapes, chords with walking bass lines, chordal harmony, and seventh chord inversions. Again, the workbook approach is used here because students learn more when they figure things out for themselves under the guidance of a good teacher.
Thanks for checking out my new book, watching the instructional videos, and working so hard on your guitar. I can't wait to hear what you sound like after working through some of the exercises in these books. You can order your copies at leadcatpress.com. Thanks.